Welcome back to another episode of YouTube Guy Explains Stuff. A lot of people just Google search. Continuing our coverage of Sandman Season 1, today we wanted to discuss the plane of existence known as the Dreaming. The Dreaming is a complex plane of existence created by the aspect of reality known as Dream, also referred to as Morpheus, the Lord of Stories. The Dreaming is a metaphysical plane of existence that is best described as always constantly changing depending upon the dreams of the beings in the waking world. Today's video is going to cover the Dreaming, what it is, who lives there, and some key locations within it. As a fun game, try to keep track of how many times I say Dream, Dreams, or the Dreaming. Write the answer in the comments and maybe you'll win a prize. As stated like 12 seconds ago, the Dreaming is a metaphysical plane of existence created by Morpheus in order to shape and control the dreams of living beings. Dream can add and remove locations within the Dreaming at will, and often the Dreaming itself will reflect Dream's mood or recent events that have taken place. For example, when Dream is depressed or saddened by the Dreaming, it may reflect that by being particularly gloomy or constantly raining. Basically, this is the superpower that every goth kid wishes they had. The Dreaming is home to the dreams and nightmares of all species across the infinity of reality, meaning that everything across the cosmos and space and time that can dream has dreams that reside within the Dreaming, and the entities that comprise those dreams live and die within the Dreaming. Within this realm, Dream has nearly complete control of every aspect of reality. So let's move on to some key locations. First off, we have the Gates of Horn and Ivory, and this is the gateway to the Dreaming, and no other entities may enter the Dreaming without being invited specifically by Morpheus, or while they're dreaming if they're capable of dreaming. Next up, we have Dream's Palace itself. The majority of the Dreaming fell into disarray during the 72-year period where Dream was imprisoned by Roderick Burgess. As Dream lost his power over the Dreaming, the world began to reflect his condition. When we first see his palace, it's in absolute shambles. However, once Morpheus has regained his vestments of power, he hasn't returned to his former magnificence. The palace itself also changes depending upon who's there, what Morpheus needs, and if he's forced to accommodate guests. Within Dream's palace, he even has an expansive library which essentially houses every piece of information about everything ever. So it's the internet except in books. Keep in mind when this was written in the 80s, nobody had any idea what the internet was. Because Morpheus is the lord of stories and dreams, he essentially has complete access to any information ever thought of or dreamed about. This includes people, places, events, thoughts, and feelings. All of it's included within the library, and when Dream is imprisoned, the library begins to vanish and all the books are replaced with white pages. The library itself is overseen by one of Morpheus's most faithful servants, Lucian, and the palace itself is overseen by Merv Pumpkinhead. The gates to the palace themselves are guarded by the gatekeepers, a wyvern, a griffin, and a hippogriff. Some of these beings are destroyed by the end of the comic series, but they did a pretty good job for all of time up until that point. Fiddler's Green is another aspect of the dreaming that seems like it's complicated to explain, but it's not. Fiddler's Green is a sentient portion of the dreaming that likes to occasionally leave the dreaming and get out and stretch its legs. Eh, I mean, that's not exactly true, but when Dream was imprisoned, Fiddler's Green took human form and went out exploring the waking world because it didn't have anyone to stop it. While in the Dreaming, Fiddler's Green takes the form of a lush jungle and forest. However, when Fiddler's Green is in the waking world, it appears as a heavyset man in a trench coat with a cane and glasses. Neil Gaiman has stated that the physical appearance of Fiddler's Green in The Waking World is based off an author named G.K. Chesterton, whose works often provoked discussion of paradoxes, as evidenced by Fiddler's Green consistently talking in riddles. The House of Secrets and the House of Mystery are the last two locations I wanted to discuss today. As any good comic fan would be able to quickly identify, both the House of Secrets and the House of Mystery are the titles of long-running comic series for both EC Comics and DC Comics that began in 1956 and ran through 1969 and featured a number of smaller scale monster stories. The stories within the books House of Mystery and House of Secrets were hosted by Cain and Abel, respectively, who acted as narrators for the story. Neil Gaiman took that idea and brought it within the world of the Sandman. Within the Dreaming, there are two literal houses, one of secrets and one of mystery. 
they are overseen by Cain and Abel as well. There's a bit of conjecture on whether or not these are the same Cain and Abel from the Bible, which they seem to be, at least in the original run, but later various retcons and kind of BS undoes some of that. They act as master storytellers within the world of Sandman. Functionally, however, they are kind of groundskeepers and just friends of Morpheus. They provide comic relief, and they serve important roles in some short stories. We may even make a video on them later if there's enough interest. The Dreaming is endlessly large. Anything that can be dreamt of can be found within the Dreaming, and Morpheus has total dominion over all of it. Each member of the Endless represents a different aspect of reality, and they all have their own planes that they preside over. So potentially we might be able to cover more of these in the future. But that is all I have for the Dreaming today. I hope you guys learned a lot, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know how many times I said dream down in the comment section. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and remember the motto, the dreaming over everything. Dream. Dream again. Dream. That's three extra dreams, so if you didn't stay this long, then your number can't possibly be right. <laughs>